Hi, I'm Andy, and thanks for tuning into my video on how to build a hydroponic garden tower, just like this one here. So when I first wanted to build a hydroponics tower, I did just what you guys are doing, and jumped onto YouTube and went through all the videos I could find on how to build a hydroponics garden tower. I then looked at the ways they were doing it and tried a couple of different ones that I thought might work and they weren't the best way that I thought it could be done. So I put that aside and decided to work out my own way of building them. Um, and I thought it was a really easy way of doing it, good consistent results. So I thought I'll share it with everybody else and uh, they can build as nicer towers as I build. Okay. So let's get into it. I suppose the first thing we should run through is everything we're gonna need in order to build a hydroponic garden tower. So as far as the materials actually needed to build it, um, you will need a 90 mil PVC pipe. You need one and a half meters for each tower. So I buy these in three meter lengths and I can make two towers out of each one. You need one and a half meters of 15 mil PVC pipe. So again, you only need 1500, and um, but I buy this in three meters to make two towers. You need a 62 mil by 62 mil by 1.2 meter long piece of wood. Now this is used in the construction, it's not actually used in the use of the tower, um, but while you're buying everything else, you'll need to buy one of these. You need to buy a screw end cap for the top of the tower. You need two meters of 40 mil PVC pipe, and this is to make the spigots. You'll need a little piece of 25 mil PVC pipe, and when I say little, I mean you only need 10 mil. So if you have a little bit lying around, that's great. If not, buy the smallest piece you can get, and it'll last you for ages. You need two 90 mil bends in the 15 mil PVC. You need one screw end connector, and that's to go to the pump in 15 mil. A 15 mil straight joiner. and a 15 mil end cap. Obviously you need a pump, like that one. And a timer to turn the pump on and off in increments. This one is every 15 minutes. Finally, a 20 litre bucket. Uh, this one's a food grade bucket. Um, so, you know, if you can find a food grade bucket, I'd say that's, that's better. So that's everything you need to build a tower. Um, next, we'll run through everything you'll need tools wise in order to put it together. Now, with the tools you're gonna need, you're going to need a drop saw, an electric plane, a drill, some hole saws. So you're going to need a 22 mil hole saw, a 44 mil hole saw, a 
57 mil hole saw and a 92 mil hole saw. You're gonna need a heat gun, a couple of clamps, some PVC glue. This is a tomato sauce bottle that I put the glue in. It's got a little screw top on there and it just makes it really easy to apply the glue. A little sanding sponge and this is to sand off any marks on the PVC pipe because sometimes it comes with some printing on with the code and size or uh, pencil marks that are a bit hard to get off sometimes. So a quick little sand is the easiest way to get all that off. Uh, tape measure. And you don't need one of these, but this is a pipe cutter. Um, it's what I use to cut the 15 mil pipe. You can just as easily do it on the drop saw, but this is nice, quick and easy to use. Um, so I prefer using this, but if you don't have this, not a problem. Drop saw will do just as good a job. And that's all the tools you'll need to build a garden tower.